All right, guys, let's check out the six by six and see what we can find caused the problem. Could the motor look like it burned out on the trail? So let's see if it's the motor would burn out or what, but I know it's smoke out. Let's do some tests here and see what's happened. So I'm gonna put a battery in here. I'm gonna turn the controller on, turn the XL5 on. Everything is green. So now let's see if we'll get some juice, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so the test I'm testing here right now, I have this extra motor here. This is a Traxxas motor. It's the exact same motor what's in here. So I'm going to pull this to plug the negative and the positive wire right here. Going to pull this and we're going to push positive to positive and negative to negative. And we're going to press the throttle again and see if we get any juice. Let's see what's happening here. See everything work fine. So... The motor died on us. What I'm gonna do is remove that motor. So let's turn off the XL5. So as we see the motor died. At this point in time, I wouldn't even put this motor in here. I'm gonna change the whole system and put in the hobby wing axe system. And we're gonna change the solo. Let me get the screws out. Okay, let's remove the cover. Even this motor mount plate is slack. This is out. I'm gonna take some W40 and clean it and see if it's gonna remove any dirt and see if we get any life. And if you have any life, that means it was just dirty. All right, let's hook him back up and give him a run, see what happens. Just a little bit, nothing much. Yeah, he's dead, yeah, that's it. Salvo still works. But the motor is gone. All right, so that's it for the Traxxas motor. I just thought I'd show you guys to see if we can revive it as we come back to the base but nothing could be done about this here this is done so the very first run the 21t taken motor in the tracks is six by six burned out on the trail it was very disappointing but this is what it is you don't always get a perfect motor all the time and uh i did not feel good about it at all I still don't feel good about it because you know when you put yourself together and make all this preparation to go all the smiles to have some fun with your vehicle and the motor burn out it's not a good feeling but i tell you what this is the rc life for you things happen and this is the results okay so now we're gonna remove the whole system and put in the axe let's get to it keeping a light module for the lights and now we got two screws to remove here out we have to go into the receiver box and remove this connection so let's get to that one time there you go and we have to take off these two screws here too all right so now we can figure out which one is which one and that one there we go and then we get to pass it on in it here most times you have to remove the battery box to get to it because you get a zip tie. So you get four screws to remove the battery box, two here and here. And you will get those from under the wheel well. But I'm thinking we're just gonna remove those two and lift up the box. Let's see if that works. Let's get those two out. So that seems to work. I can get underneath the battery box now to remove the zip tie. All right, let me take you low so you can see. Now let's cut the zip tie. There we go. We have to rotate it on the knee here. Let me show you. All right, so now we have to get it to pass through this piece of loop what holds the locking differential servo. So let's see if we can. Normally you will lift up the servo and take it out, but I'm trying a shortcut. There it is. All right, so it's out. The system is out. All right, so we're gonna remove the tracks of servo. So let's take off the screw at the bottom here. Okay, this is off. So we're gonna turn the vehicle over and remove the servo. If you wanna remember where the screws come out and you don't wanna remove it, take up some tape and just tape it. So you gonna remember this, just like that. All right, so this servo got four screws, two here and two at the back here. Let's remove those and get the servo out. So 
So now we just have to remove the wire from the receiver box. Take this wire out here, just like that. And we have to reroute the wire underneath here and remove the plug from here. So here, the silver plugged in in number two. So we just have to pass this underneath here, pull this out, just like so. And the silver is out. All right, so we're going to remove the TQI, the receiver. And the aerial screwing by a little screw. So we're going to unscrew this. And that's it. And now we're going to put in the fly sky. We get a rope, the antenna wire. Like so, I'm gonna wipe at the bottom of this. One of the ways is to take up the tape and pick up all the grease or all the dirt. Okay, that's it. Sit down in there, perfect. We're gonna route the aerial back here. Just like that, tighten down the screw. All right, the aerial is in place. Let's move on to getting the motor in there. And we have two motor. Let me show that to you. This one is a 2700 kV, and that one is a 3300 kV. So we're gonna put the 3300 kV inside of the TRX-6, which is this one. So let's get to it and show you what's going on. This is your combo, your axe system. There you go, guys. ESC and motor. This is what going inside of the 6x6. Let me get inside these boxes and get this stuff out and show you. And there goes your pinion gear in the back of it. And this is your motor with your three wires and sensor wire. Let's see what size pinion gear we have here. This is a 12T pinion gear and it comes with an extra little screw in the back. All right, so let me get down to the ESC. Comes with your manual, comes with stickers, two zip tie, some shrink wrap with double-sided tape. So this is your system guys, got your power button, comes with your plug. This is your wire to go into your receiver and it connect up like so. Gotta make sure the pins go in perfect and screw it down like, like this. This is your system. Now I have to do some changes here with this plug. So I gotta remove this plug and I'm gonna put a Traxxas plug in here. We have to solder up this three wire here. It's got ABC, so you gotta put them the correct places and just solder them. This is a shrink wrap, so you put the shrink wrap over it. Like so, before you solder it, you put the shrink wrap and you solder up. All right, so let's get the move on. Let's take this plug off, just like that. So let's move on now to solder up the plugs and the, the wires on the ESC here. Now we're gonna take the pieces of shrink wrap that comes with the kit and what you do, I already push one in here. You put all the shrink wrap before you start soldering. Try not to forget that, push them in there. So when you solder, you can pull them over. The red one is for this one, for the power and the axe system. Okay, so just like that. And now I'm gonna splice the wire, take off part of the coating so I can get the wire to be exposed so I can solder it. Try not to strip any wire. Just like that. So now I'm gonna put some solder on the tip of this wire. All right guys, so we put the axe together. We solder him up and put the shrink wrap, put the Traxxas plug. And now we are going to put on the pinion gear. There is a flat part of the shaft right here. This is where this little screw would go, right on top there. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is just snug it a little so I could adjust it. This is even too tight right here. You have to keep it real loose. So you can move it back and forth like so to line up on the spore gear. All right, so that is good. Now we're ready to go in the six by six. All right, before we put the hobby wing system in there, we need to remove this motor mount. We need two screws to put on on the hobby wing. Let's remove those two screws. We are not going to use this plastic motor mount. We have this new motor mount. This is aluminum. So this is the one that we're gonna use. I think um, having the metal motor mount bracket here would be a lot better than the plastic. This comes over here. Gonna put one of the screws in C. Make sure you line up in that hole. 
So we're doing one in C and then we're counting one, two, three on the other side. And if you notice, the screws line up this way. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna put some tread lock to hold this so you don't get loose on me because you guys see when we pull out the motor the first time, this motor mount here was slack. So I don't want it to happen again. So I've got some tread lock right here. So all you gotta do is remove one of the screws. And we're just gonna, just like that, put them back in there. And then we're gonna do this one. All right, so put a little, just like that, and drop him in number three. And now we're gonna tighten them down. Now I just pull it till it stop and give it that little extra crank. So you sit real good there. All right, so let's see how it goes here. All right, so you're sitting really nice here. And my journey, you know, is to line up this pin and gain the spugger to line up real perfect. So they both matching each other. We're looking pretty okay there. Gonna push them up a little bit. And now we're gonna tighten them down. Always remember that the flat part of the shaft is where the screw need to be. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna back this out and put some tread lock on it. We're looking good there, guys. So I'll lock him down nicely there. And now we just have to put the cover on and that will take care of hooking up the motor. Three screws we gotta put in there. Right, that's it. So now I'm gonna twist the wires like so. Make it very easy to deal with. And the sensor wire, we just connect it up. There you go. Push it in and thread this thread down. All right, so now we're moving on to running the wires. This wire, which is for the um for the receiver, it's gonna go over here. So we're gonna run it underneath here and we're gonna try to get it through this little groove. There we go. So this is the ESC wire for the receiver. All right, so we get this over here, that's that. Now we gotta put zip ties at the bottom here to hold this wires. Got a little zip tie here. Let me take it on low so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, let me show you where the zip tie is going. Never keep the wires from getting kinked on anything so they don't move about. Okay guys, let's put some double-sided tape under the AC. Here we do it. Okay, so now we start up our Traxxas connectors and we put the extra piece here for this light module here. So just like so. The fan, I'm not sure that I'm gonna use it yet. So I'll leave it hanging. And we have to just put our wires away. Like so, okay, so we had to clean up the wires. Gonna put a zip tie here to hold all these pieces in place. Let's zip them down. Okay, so zip tie this together. Okay, let's put down the battery tray. Let's put by the two screws that we remove. All right, that's it for the battery tray. All right, let's put a zip tie on these wires. Okay, so that is set right there. So now I'm thinking that I got the Traxxas High Torque 400. So we're waterproof, um, but I'm also thinking I have a 777 here. The way that it's going to hook up is we can go straight on the battery or we can come inside of the receiver. But the Traxxas, we can only go inside the receiver because that's 6 volt and this one could go up or 2.7. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the 777. All right, let's do this. All right, let's get the 777 open. So plastic silver on, rubber bushings, metal bushings and screws, screws for your silver. This is for, to go onto the silver horn. All right, so let's get down in the seven by seven. Let's see what we got here. Nice, look at that guys. So this part will go in your receiver right here. Okay, just like that. And this would go straight onto the battery. So we have this lead here that we had make the connection for the module. What we can do is put a split here and let me just cut this out so we can see the performance. So I'm gonna remove this and put this here and you can see the performance of the servo. Just put a horn, gotta turn the radio on. Very quiet. Okay, let's hook him up now. So we have a metal servo horn that we're gonna put on the reefs servo. Let's start hooking him up and show you guys how we get done. Right, let's put the servo horn together. It comes with two extra screws. Those screws will be coming on the side here. So 
So the servo is going to be sitting like so. So we want this servo horn to be like that. Went in there pretty flush. And they did give us an extra screw for that servo. Got the little screw out. Now we're going to put in two screws just to test it to make sure that everything line up. We are not going to put all four screws as yet. We don't worry about the wire. We're going to roll the wire on any tear in just a while. We just want to test it out and make sure that it works. Okay, let's flip the vehicle over. And here, I tape the screw onto the steering arm so I didn't lose the screw. All right, guys, check it out. Beautiful. All right, now that we went ahead and test everything, I'm going to remove the screw from the servo. I'm going to take off the servo from where it's sitting now. I want to put some Loctite on the screws to make sure because it's metal on metal. And um, we're going to take off the servo and finish tightening two small screws. Let's remove the servo. We're going to put two screws in there, take it back out. Okay, so the servo is out. I want to tighten these two little screws here, but first of all, what I'm going to do is remove it and put some Loctite on the screws. And now we're going to remove the one in the middle and put some Loctite on it too. So we need to lock it on real tight because when the going get rough out there, we don't want it loose up. So we put the Loctite on the small screws. So now we're gonna route the wire, gonna pass it on and it here. So one wire coming over here, one going this way. We can pass it right here. We have to route it on the knit here. And then it comes in here. And this one comes over here, so we can pass it on the knit here. Okay, and now we can take the servo back down. Okay, so now we can put on the screws. Okay, that's it. Silver wheel pulled down. So now we're gonna turn him over and we gotta put in the steering arm. So we're gonna put some tread lock on that silver horn screw. Okay, we lock him down really tight. So this is about it for the silver. Let's test out the silver and see how it functions. working perfect so for your locking differential this is your back locking differential I'm using number five for your front locking differential I'm using number six and for your high speed and low speed I'm using number four all right so we're good to go I'm just gonna set everything back up here tidy up these wires I got one more piece of extension like this to put on and um, this would be for this module for the lights. So I gotta put another plug like this one, this piece right here. So I'm gonna do some soldering and get another connection here. We're gonna take this piece from the Traxxas XL5 and we're gonna go ahead and solder it on here so we can get the connection here for the lights. So then we have two pieces, one for the servo, one for the lights. Okay, let's get that done. All right, so I'm gonna remove this, um, this piece of plastic here and to get the pins out. So I have to push the pins back Okay, so that is out. Now I have to remove the shrink wrap. I'm gonna do the both sides. Gotta be careful with this sharp blade. There we go. And I have to remove this piece and this piece because I wanna put this in here and I wanna be able to get the shrink wrap over it again. So I have to remove the both pieces. Okay, so they're out. So now what I'll do is get some shrink wrap and cut this in half. Get these two pieces. And this is how we're gonna do this. We're putting it this way. So when we solder it, we pull the shrink wrap up. So I gotta put a little bit of solder on this one. So let me show you how it goes. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this end. Okay, that's it. All right, now we're gonna put these two pieces together. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but we can do it. We're gonna try to get one at a time. 
There we go, that's one. Put the other one on this side here. There we go, two of them is in. And we just gotta pull this over like so. And give it some heat. All right, so the first one down. All right, let's get the positive in. All right, let's solder it in. We're gonna do one at a time. There we go, one is down. And that's it, the other one is in. All right, squeezing it to take out any sharp edge. All right, perfect. Just take the hot iron and put against it and the shrink rope going to shrink itself. All right, the soldering job complete. Now let's put back the pins inside of the, the bracket. Okay, that's it. So we have our two pieces, one for this, for the light system, and the other for the wrist shovel. All we have to do now is put the wires in place, clean them up, and that's it. So we have this piece of link here, this connection that we're going to put on and we're going to run this here, pass it on in it. So that is going to run just like this. I'm going to pass it on to the battery and keep it out so we can plug this in when we need to and remove it when we don't want it. Okay, so this is what it is. So now we can cover the box. Okay, let's put in the gasket. You gotta be very careful with this gasket. Okay, that's what's gonna seal the box to stop the water from coming in. Okay, we get everything back in place and we have that extra wire to plug in the fan. And I'm gonna try to route that wire underneath here. There we go. And that's it. Guys. All right guys, so we're gonna put on the rock lights and this rock light is from Traxxas. So let's get those lights in there Comes with three zip ties The module is on this side here. We are going to plug it in here Let me just give you a sneak peek of the manual to give you a pretty good idea how to start to run it. This is your diagram to follow. So this is how it goes. All right, so now let's double check and make sure that it's light up. lights is working pretty bright too everyone is working all right guys so this is how we're gonna hook up the lights we're gonna put one two three four five six seven eight we wouldn't put any at the back here because we only have eight and we need ten so no lights is going at the back all right so let's get those lights in so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove all the screws take off all these caps and then we're gonna put down the lights Okay, so two is off. I'm gonna do a time lapse and get the rest off. All right, now that we get all the covers off, we're gonna start putting in the rock lights. This is how it goes. We're using a 2.0 hex head screwdriver. So the first one is down. Pretty easy process. Only those in the middle here taking two screws. This two. The others take one screw.
All right, so we're moving pretty fast. All right, we're gonna zip tie the wires. All right, that's about it. Let's put the battery and turn them on. We got rock lights. There goes your rock lights. All right, that's it guys. That's it for the Traxxas rock lights. Okay, so we're gonna have to get two more for the back here to light up the back of the truck. But so far, it's much better than it was.